This Dude, show is oh, awesome. Dude, Rampage is the best Rampage in forever and ever and ever. You know what's funny is uh, we often, uh, in fact, I think it was the live Q and A we did in Vegas, where somebody asked the question like, uh, "Kind of wrestling would you show somebody who's never watched wrestling, but he, you know, if you want to make them a fan?" And Dave and I both, you know, agreed that what you should show them is lucha. Sure. Because uh, you know, watching lucha is like watching a Cirque du Soleil show. Sure. You know, you're not going to get. Uh, well, it depends on the match, but. If you show them a high-flying acrobatic lucha match, you're not going to get a bloodbath. You know, it's not a bunch of punching and kicking. You don't have to really understand storylines. You know, it's just it's just a, a bunch of fun and colorful costumes and wacky characters and the whole nine yards. So I was watching this uh, this rampage show. We went to uh, get ice cream, and then uh, the what kids great day. the kids wanted to go to the playground, but I had to watch rampage. And I was like, you know what? Let's go to the playground. I'll watch it on my phone. So kids went to the playground, and I start watching the show. And, in fact, there is this, uh, this opener for the uh, CMLL Meg- World Heavyweight Mega Championship. Is it AAA? You mean AAA? AAA. With uh, Bakingo, Commander, and Drillistico. And I start watching this match. And I, you know what? Whitney's right here. I'm going to show her some of this match. And, uh, and sure enough, I showed her some of this match. She thought it was awesome hmm. because it's Lucha. And uh, she don't like wrestling, but, you know, when when uh, Commander did that rope walk springboard full or half-twisting layout to the outside, and then he did the other rope walk into the 450, and then uh, Vikingo did the running jump off the middle rope into the 630 through the table on the outside, she was like, that was awesome. So, in fact, it is true. You can get someone who does not like wrestling to watch wrestling if you find a high-flying, crazy Lucha Libre match, and that is exactly what this was. Went 10 minutes. I mean, it felt longer in a good way. There was so much action in this match, and I thought this was just great. Great! So, the, the as you noted, they did a Lucha Libre match, 100% pure, authentic Lucha. And lucha is often very colorful, as you noted. It's a very acrobatic and athletic. And sometimes it can be a little silly. And there's a point in the first minute of this match where, like, they're all trading high crosses and ducking high crosses constantly. They're playing leapfrog, Vinny. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the one that uh, certain cranky old men highlighted and said, oh, I can't believe this is wrestling on my TV. Not noticing, you know, ignoring the fact that, A, the crowd did laugh at that and enjoy it. And, B, all the other awesome stuff that happened the next 15 minutes. It was uh, complete insanity. You had it's you can't really recap this. You can write things like Vikingo does Vikingo things, and Commander does Commander things, which are not the same things. Commander things are very different than Vikingo things. But I can't describe either one of them other than to say Vikingo things and Commander things. Uh, Vikingo hit a corkscrew poison rana that looked about fatal. It set up a double table spot, but Drillistico was able to escape the table. So Vikingo only put Commander through it. And then when they get back in the ring, let's go try to power bomb, but Vikingo tried a simple Rana with a cradle and pin him to win. I mean, it was a highlight reel more than a match, but the highlight reel was awesome. I loved it, loved it. And uh, Vikingo lo- is is uh, one of a kind. He he not only is one of a kind, but I feel like he's getting better every time I see him. Mm. Like the first first, I mean, he was he was always really great in with what he did, but you know. Now, it's like all of this stuff, I don't know. I think he's awesome. I think he was by far the best guy in this match. Commander does really cool things, but he's not a complete worker. You know, he's, he's no. got his stuff that he does. It looks cool, but, you know, he's, he's got a ways to go to do the rest. But, man, this Vikingo could be a gigantic star. I love me a spot fest. I really do. Um, I will be that cranky old guy that I didn't like the leapfrog spot uh it's silly. that's lucha bro it's silly it's silly of course it takes it me is. out of it and and the and the the strikes by a couple of the guys are just not good but again i love me a spot fest vikingo when he's got drillistico in the corner he's, he gets up on the top rope and he does a full flip in the air catches the guy in head scissors position and then flips the other way unreal unreal that's that's a special kind of guy that could do stuff like that 
that um, that guy's going to be something. We have a history of Aubrey Edwards confronting Jeff Jarrett's crew, which is actually much longer than I realized. There's what in the heck is going on with this storyline? Well, they're obviously well, they, they, set, they set up a match by the end of this. That's what I can't figure out. She, Aubrey, is going to do a match? Well, she used a to mixed it. tag? We'll cut to the end, but yes, they're going to do Mark Briscoe and Aubrey versus Jeff and Karen Jarrett. She used to wrestle. I, I can't imagine one. they're doing that. They're going to do it. I don't know what to tell you, dude. No, like I mean, I, I realize guess, that is very much a TNA thing to do. I guess it's possible, but I, I, I could see them doing something like, you know, Aubrey is handcuffed to Karen Jarrett, and then Mark and Jeff actually do the match or something like no. that. But I, I can't imagine Aubrey's going to do a match. Well, what she's ha- for a referee. The the, the, the the Jarrett's crew is ranting about how Aubrey. Jay Lethal said Aubrey has been a thorn in our side since the dawn of time. <laughs> They're all much older than I realized. So Mark Briscoe interrupts, promises nobody here is going to get suspended for hitting the uh, referee with a guitar because if you get suspended, you can't get the ass weapons you deserve. And Lethal starts to speak up. Mark tells him to shut up. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking to you, Jeff Jarrett, and you, Karen Jarrett. And Sarah says, who's going to give us the ass whipping? And up, stops, up, up steps Aubrey. I butchered the line. So Karen gets an Aubrey's face. It says the classic fighter's line, there's nothing between us but air and opportunity. And Aubrey stares at her, and she's looking all mean, and I'm waiting for like a terrible strike or a chop or an elbow or a kick or something, and she just goes, and grabs her by the neck. And they are separated. I laughed hard. I think the resulting match will be, as I wrote here, all kinds of terrible, but probably fun. I think Aubrey can probably do some stuff. I think she's trained. But uh, Karen, is not, Karen is not trained. No. Well, I, I don't know if you know anything, Craig. What do you know about anything? You thought you thought that lucha match was no good. That's not. Go back, you dumb dumb. I can't I rewind you, time. You're you kidding idiot. me? You're it's in the past idiot. now. But anyway, you know who can't. You know who isn't trained. Really, is Karen. Right. So I mean, what? Plus the storyline. You can't have a referee. As a wrestler, that's a conflict of interest. Do you understand? She's not a referee own match. Danny Davis. You know how that thing went for that guy? Well, he screwed up a bunch Once of Once he became a first. wrestler, he couldn't referee anymore. Well, actually, he was, he Until was, that idiot Jack Tunney brought him back. He was suspended for life as a referee had, and had to turn exactly. to wrestling as a choice. Ex- well, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> this I got to see. You're overthinking this, This dude. I got to see. It's not going to be a 20-minute main event. No, it will be. No, don't you don't think, think they're no. going to go 20? I'll bet you they are. I, I do not think they I will. bet they go between 12 and 16, guaranteed. Hmm. That ain't 20. Well, if they do, it'll be... It's a tag match. 11 to 15 minutes Mark of Mark and, and Jeff. Mark and Jeff can okay. do a lot of it. They can. That's fair. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I did like that Aubrey actually put a bandage on her forehead from the guitar shot. Nice touch. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who... What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh-oh. What are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo! Hit that music, brother! How oh, the hell with it? You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love you guys! I love you! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. 
Don't miss out. Join us today.